Hey guys, here are some smudge brushes for you. You can download them using the link in the description. Uh, the set contains five different smudge brushes. And if you don't know how to install them, you can uh, find the readme file in the zip file, which will walk you through the process. So I'll make a short demonstration. I'm creating a rectangle like this and another one. Let's color this one. Nice purple or magenta color like this. And maybe a bit brighter. maybe a bit more saturated okay this works so um, let's see the first one the first one is this let's just make five different squares like this okay so the first one is this one, so you can see it blends the colors nicely together. I think this one works the best for, for blending colors together. You just uh, go a few times over your color, your surface, sorry, and uh, it blends it really nicely together. So the next one is this one, which is a flat smudge brush. It uh, gives an interesting effect. This is more for the effect than anything else because it blends the colors together, but uh, its purpose is to create a nice uh, effect in your painting if you're uh, into this kind of stuff and I am uh, you will like this a lot so it creates nice hard edges and it uh, also um, blends some of the colors and values together so the next one is this one which is a hard edge uh, smudge tool smudge brush it's good for both uh, blending the colors but uh, also making nice and sharp edges so if you use small strokes like this you can create uh, good uh, pleasant painterly look in your painting the next one let's erase this the next one is this one this is in between the two basically this is the hard version the third one is a hard version the first is the really soft version this uh, can create some hard edges but uh, you can use it to blend colors together too it doesn't blend that well but uh, it gives you a, a nice look so yeah just play around with it and and you will see what it does uh, the third one is the big uh, painterly smudge tool which uh, which blends the colors and values together like on a hardcore level it's like this or you can use a nice big stroke if you're you, you want to do an effect like this 
and it blends just everything into everything so this is uh, mostly for backgrounds or like weird painterly edges and stuff like that if you want to blend colors uh, I would probably go with the first one but uh, it depends on the situation so you have to to test them out to um, and see what works for you so yeah you can find the link in the description i hope they are useful for you and uh, if you have any custom brush requests or tips you can email me at brush tip at pixelstains.net and uh, that's all so i hope you like them they are useful and if they are stay tuned for more bye bye